Hey, this is Barbara from barbarajournals.com. And um, this, in this quick video, I'm gonna show you um, one of the features that Canva have that may you may find useful when it comes to um, designing planners and um, maybe even journals, depending on what you're trying to do. So if you go to the homepage and type in worksheets, you'll see that they have a whole bunch <laughs> of different types of worksheets that you can use and um, change around to whatever you need it to be. So for example, um, let me see, I kind of like this one. So let me see something. And I'm just going straight. Um, I'm just uh, going straight for it. Like I'm not, you know, I didn't practice or anything. But I wanted to get this out real quick, um, especially while my kids are home for summer break. So you may hear them in the background. But um, here's an example of um, a worksheet. So let's see, let me see. Let's change this picture. Because the key is, especially when it comes to Canva, you want to make the pictures or the images or um, whatever you're using off of Canva. You want to make it so that it's not Canva-like. The key um, is to never, it's for people that have to guess that, that, was, that you got it from Canva. So if I move this, um, you'll see that I changed out the picture. Let me see if I can move this real quick. So now this is um, one of my images, but I'm gonna see if I can try to find something that pops a little bit more. Mm, let's see, I'll keep that one and I'll move it down. There we go, I like that better, all right. So we'll let that be the heading and we'll make this, um let me see i don't really like the color so i'm gonna change this out because i don't really like that color box and i'm gonna go to elements and i'm gonna just find another box and just um, format it for what i want to do and that remember the purple lines shows you that they're in the um, middle so it helps you with formatting i'm going to change this to white and i'm going to make it a little transparent let me see, do I wanna make it pink? No, I don't like the way the pink looks. Um, let's keep it white for right now. I might change it as we go throughout the tutorial. Um, so let's add some text to it. And I'm gonna just call it a uh, goals worksheet. And again, I'm just putting this um, tutorial together fairly quick. Um, and I'm kind of just going off the cuff. I'm gonna make this gray. Uh, let's make it about 64 maybe. Oh, it didn't take the first one. All right. And then I'm gonna play with the spacing a little bit. I'm gonna bring it so that it's a little closer together. All right, so there we go. Um, all right, so we have that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out all of this because for the interest of time, I'm just gonna make it so that um, I can do this in the next couple of minutes. And again, this is just to give you an idea of what you can do if you um, want to do something such as um, make a worksheet for a particular workbook or planner you have in mind, but you're not really sure about how to go about it. Canva just type in worksheets and they have a whole plethora of worksheets you can play with. Um, so I grouped this together, so I'm just gonna move it up. The lines let me know how to keep it in the middle. I'm gonna group this one. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to turn that, so I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna group this and I'm gonna group this. All right, so we have those. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make this box a little bit bigger. And actually, you know what, what I can do one step further, I already have this, this and this group, copy, copy. Bring this down, bring this down. All right, um, let me see. And let's see, goals worksheet. So let's say, um, let's say my main goal, We'll call it my main goal. Is it in caps? We'll put it in caps. 
my mango um, uh, short term. And like I said, I'm just going off the top. So make this caps to short term goals. And we'll make this long term goals. And maybe I'll make this um, yearly goals, something like that. Because usually short term goal is for um, like six months, three to six months. Long midterm is like six to nine, and long term is like nine to twelve. All right. So we have that. And if you wanted to change this even more, you could like put this in the middle. We could make it a little bit bigger. So that's thirty-two. Let me see, thirty-two center, and then thirty-two center. All right. So once again, like I said, this is just a quick um way to do worksheets. Again, you don't have to um, reinvent the wheel. Canva has a whole slew of them that you can use. You just gotta tweak it and make it your own. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out to me at barbarajournals.com. You can find me there on Facebook, Instagram, or post questions below this video, all right? I also have a Facebook group that you can join. I will um, post the link to that as well. If you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out to me. All right. You guys be blessed.